All right, so this is our last day. We better make the most of it, as they said. I think I explored everything already. Oh, there's another present. It's a present. Hey, Corinne, breakfast is really fun. I bet all the food is expensive, though. That's why I'm giving you my allowance. Don't spend it all in one place, okay? Alex the Annihilator. Grand breakfast is awesome. I left my leftover ingredients in the fridge. Feel free to use them. Have a good life. Shoes. Oh. What a sweetie. What a sweetie. What did he leave? What did you leave me? I can pretty much make anything. But I won't. Not right now. I might. Turn the TV on. For shoe. parlor one more time. Okay, she's still standing there, disapproving me and my life choices. That's okay. I don't know if there's any point in having flowers in the garden. On the last day, maybe there, maybe you get an achievement if you have the garden full of flowers when, on your last day, but let's go to the hospital. My flowers, they're there. Turn on your telly for you? No? Okay. Hi, Miss Siren. Mind if I visit? Miss Siren? Oh, I'm sorry, Corinne. I was lost in thought. I've been thinking a lot about Gale lately. Gee, I wonder why. I mean, I wonder what he would think if he saw me like this. I think he'd just want you to feel better. Yes, that does sound like Gale. Or, you know, any son, really. He was such a sweet boy. I wish, I wish I could see him one more time. I wish I could tell him what a wonderful son he was and how much I loved him. You know, I, I think Gail knew that. When I talked to him um, in, in high school, I got the sense that he really loved his family. Really? That's comforting. Oh dear, you're making me tear up. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No, it's just, you're a very sweet girl, Corinne. I just wish I could hear those words from my son. Well, I'm going to have to be your medium, I'm sorry. I'm quite the mess, would you mind excusing me? Sure, Mrs. Styron. Oops. Uh, yes, I wanted... Ha! Ah! There we go. Let's go to the florist. Corinne! Good you're here! It's urgent. Huh? What's up, Chloe? Okay, I guess it ain't really urgent. But I've been thinking about this life stuff and all, and about whether I should stick with what's safe or do what I really want. And I just, I don't know, what do you think, Corinne? You know, in real life, I'm a little bit more of a stability is important kind of person, but I also do believe strongly in pursuing your passions. Like, not necessarily dropping everything to go after what you love, but you should, if you have a passion, you should 100% find a way to pursue it. So I'm guessing I'm going to tell her to follow her dreams. I think you have to follow your dreams. I mean, if you spend your life doing something that doesn't make you happy, it's kind of sad, isn't it? Now, let me, let me just get one thing straight for you guys. I completely support following your dreams, but sometimes I also have an understanding that sometimes you have to do other things to support your dreams, like you have to work a crappy job or something like that. But when you come home at night, you could write or, you know, do whatever your your passion is, and you will always find ways to pursue your passion. And eventually, your passion might be able to turn into something, but I am not a big su subscriber to the whole quit everything else and just try to pursue your passion, because that's not terribly successful most of the time. I'm more of a ease into your passion kind of person. I'm a, I'm a conglomeration of both. Steadiness is important and follow your dreams. It's kind of sad, isn't it? 
That's true, that's true. Hmm, but I need money. I guess some things are easier said than done, though. Even if I wanted to follow my dreams, what would I do? I'd love to knit, but I can't really make money doing that. Etsy. I have some thinking to do. Just in case, I'm gonna keep one flower. Just in case. And to the grocery store to say goodbye to my friend. I think this game does have like a new game plus where you can sort of sort of continue where you left off, so I don't know if I'll do that or not. I'm just gonna finish the, the main game this time and I might come back and do some other stuff. We'll see. Hello, Corinne! Welcome, welcome! Hi, Dimitri! Corinne, you are a smart young businesswoman. Uh, I'm not really into business. I actually studied writing. Life is business! Business is life! Let me tell you secret of success. He's not wrong. Like, as a writer, especially if you're self-published, you really have to have good business sense. Which I don't, which is unfortunate. Sure, I'm all ears. Secret is customer loyalty. To me, all customers are like family. If groceries too heavy, I carry. If tire flat, I get air pump and fill up tire. Why am I doing these things? Because I care for customer. Because without customer, my business is nothing. It shows customer Dimitri is not just salesman. Dimitri will put some care into groceries. Yes, Dimitri is friend. Sure, I get it. Same thing applies to any kind of business. Whether business, whether business of writing, or friendship, or even business of business. Or running a bed and breakfast? Exactly! Especially for bed and breakfast. Customer loyalty is so important in hotel industry. Thanks for your advice, Dimitri. You are welcome. Advice is just advice. You can use it or you cannot use. I like your thinking, man. Also, good advice. By lots from Dimitri. Anything cool? No? Um. I'm gonna buy a banana. No, I, don't, I have three bananas. Uh, because I have lots of food that was left over. I'll buy another piece of chalk. Just, I feel like I need to buy something from this man. Dimitri is pretty wise, yes? Yeah, you are. I mean, not that wise, but you know, customer loyalty is important. It's becoming less and less important. Like, the way that to gain customer loyalty is changing in this day and age, which is... Which is different. Okay, well, I think that was pretty much everything on my last day here. Anything more to say to me? No. Nope. All right, well, one more night. One more night and then I gotta, gotta go. I gotta go, I'm gonna miss you guys. <laughs> I can. All right. Well, I, I at least laid one ghost to rest, and I have... Oh, that's right. I wanted to go upstairs. I was going to go upstairs one more time. Yeah, I laid one ghost to rest, and, and, and I have uh, some walking around money, that's for sure. So, I'm feeling pretty good about how this uh, ghost bed and breakfast went. Nope. There are probably a lot of um, secrets that I can't... I didn't unlock, or maybe I can't even unlock until New Game Plus. I don't know. I didn't do things fast enough. Who knows? But, you know, since this was a, a blind playthrough, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Was this pretty good for a blind playthrough, or were you shouting at me the entire time to get my shit together? Hi, sweetie! Corinne! Hi, Alex! Do you want to play? Yeah, I do. 
Sure, Alex. Yay! Actually, I think I'm done playing. Really? Yeah, I mean, playing is fun and all, but... I've been thinking about it, and I can't just play here forever, can I? All I ever wanted was someone who would play with me and, and talk to me, and... I just wanted a friend. And now I have you, Corinne. So I think I'm ready to be happy. I'm really happy we met, Corinne. And I think I won't regret anything at all. Alex. So, um, bye, Corinne. Thanks for everything. Aww, my tiny ghost child. I had so much fun. I had fun too, ghost child. I had a lot of fun too, Alex. Ah, I'm blind again. Stop fucking doing that. It's a room locked down. Yep. Aw, I look so sad when I checked. What about you, Z? Oh no, that's not Z. That's a uh, that's a shoe. What about it, girl? We need to talk. Hey, Zara. I've been doing some thinking about the spell and the hair, and I guess I never really thought it would work. Even if the hair had been cre hadn't been cremated, I just don't know. Um, insisting someone shouldn't be afraid probably is a bad idea, so I'm gonna ask if she's afraid. Are you afraid? Shut up! I mean, of course I am. I wanted to go to college, I wanted to tour with my band. I don't want it to end here, it's so unfair. You're right, it's not fair. I'm really sorry, Zara. Well, did you manage to collect all the ingredients from this for the spell? Except your hair. Yeah, I collected everything. But without the hair... Just listen, I want you to do one last thing for me. What's that? I want you to use the spell on Gale. What? Think about it. You can help him stay here. I bet his mom would get better in a heartbeat. But the hair, his body was probably cremated too. Don't you know where he, you are? This is his house. I'm sure you can find hair of his somewhere. Uh, it's still really creepy. That's your job, Corinne. You're the only one who can see us, who can talk to us. You could bring a gale back. I don't know all of the, if all of this stuff is for real, but what if it is? What if there's even the smallest chance it could work? Just think about it, okay? If you find some of his hair, come talk to me. Hmm, I don't know if I have time. I don't know if I have time, but I guess I'll, I'll go upstairs and see. Maybe on his pillow? One of his books? I don't- I don't know, it's probably a, 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 a terrible- oh, his- his bathroom. Gail's hair. His plant. We'll be okay, plant. I got you. I also flushed the toilet. Um, well, I mean, I don't know where he is. Maybe I should look for him real quick. Because I, you know, did not really ask his permission. I feel like you should ask someone's permission before you bring them back to life. That's just a feeling that I have. He's probably not here. Turn on the TV for my bro. Yeah. In homage to my bro. Maybe he's out by his grave. Let's find out. Scuttling along. No? Dude, give me some kind of sign if you want to be resurrected from the dead, yo. 
Give me like a resurrection thumbs up. Like, I don't- I want to know how he feels about this before I do anything like that, you know? It feels really, really rude to just be like, Yeah, I'm sure he wants to be back alive, even though he seemed pretty chill about being dead, so... I don't know. I don't know, this seems like a bad idea. It seems like it's the only thing I can do. Except for maybe sleep until tomorrow, but I really want to do that. Although it would be interesting to see what happened, but uh, let's let's uh, let's resurrect someone without their permission. Is that you see in his mom's room? Nope. All right. Well, let's resurrect you. Did you find it? Yeah, I found his hairbrush. Then we might be able to bring him back. Okay. Are you ready? Sure. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, let's do this. Probably shouldn't do this. Because uh, I could probably just sleep until the next day and nothing bad. And, and everyone would, would be better off, but... Okay, everything's set up. All you have to do is call Gale over and loudly say the word, that word. How do I get Gale over here? Duh, just call him. Okay, Corinne, I... Yeah? Just good luck. Okay, here goes. Gail? Gail! Corinne, what are you doing? Gail! I noticed my hairbrush was gone. Thought you were making a creepy shrine to me, but this is much worse. Well, um, you didn't need it, do you? Yeah, I was going to use it to brush my ghost hair. But seriously, does Zara put you up to this? No? Well, I mean, she's the one who told me about this, but and she also insisted that I do it, and really it's all her. Gail, I can bring you back to life. What? It's a spell, and I don't know how it really works, but if it'll even work, or if it'll even work, but if it does, you'll be alive again. Kind of. Well, sort of, I mean, you'll be visible to everyone. You'll be able to see your mom and everything. Grin. All I have to do is say one word and the spell will bring you back. Grin, you don't have to do this. That translates to please don't do this. I'm not sure about this. I'm not going to cast it. He seems unsure and, like I said, I feel weird casting a resurrection spell on someone without their permission. Gail, I... I... I can't do it. Corinne? Gail, I just thought that if... I'm sorry. No, it's okay, don't be. It, it would have been nice to see Mom again. I do wish things could go back to the way they were. But at the same time... I'm not afraid to die, Corinne. Well, technically I've already died, but... What I mean is I'm not afraid of moving on. But, Gail, I can't be sad when I had such a good life, even if it was cut a little short. But if physics has taught me anything, my energy will still be here. What? You know, conservation of energy, first law of thermodynamics. Energy can't be created or destroyed. It's simply transformed from one form to another. Even after I move on, my energy will still exist, don't you think? I'll just be in a different shape. Gail, that's... That's like the nerdiest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> well, maybe it's all totally ridiculous. But it makes me feel a little better. Yeah, me too. Besides, I used to think things like ghosts and mediums were ridiculous. Yet here we are. Don't be sad, Corinne. I wish things could have been different, but... Aww, that's adorable. I'm really glad you are here. Aww. I'm glad too, Gail. Keep writing, okay? I will. Bye, Corinne. Bye, Gail. Gail, you have to blind me. 
Aww. Oh, that's so sweet and sad. I might actually replay this day for you guys and do the path where you do, uh, whoops, where you do resurrect him just to see what it, what happens. Just, because that's an easy thing that I can redo for you guys. Uh, is she not here? Where'd she go? Where'd you go, girl? You make me search this entire fucking house for you? And you probably won't even be there? I'm not searching the bathroom. What about my bedroom? Nope. Oh. She probably is mad at me. And she will not move on because I didn't do the resurrection. That's my guess. It's like, if you do the resurrection, then maybe she'll move on. And if you don't, she doesn't. I don't know. Just gonna check. I know it's boring to watch me walking around all over the place, tromping around with my tiny little cloppy feet. I just want to check. I don't want to miss anything. Alright. Check her grave. Not here. Alright, well, I guess uh, we saved the day. Sort of. It would have been super weird for his mother to have to deal with him. Like, because he wouldn't age, presumably. He'd just be this weird ghost guy who would never age, and that would be a terrible way to exist, to be honest with you. Go to sleep one last time. It's the end of the week. My last night here. I guess is the end this is the end of my week here. It'll be kind of weird going back home now. Do I have like one more day? What's going on? One more day? One day more? Check and see if she's in here. She never really used her room. I suppose she could be up in Gail's place, just like, pissed off. Here you are. Hey, Cross. Oh, hey, Zara. I'm out of here. Really? Yeah, I mean, I saw what happened yesterday, and... I I heard what Gail said, and I guess he's right. I guess dying doesn't sound so bad if you think about it that way. And I'll be gone, but, you know, I'll still be around. I'm actually happy that my band didn't quit just because I died. So, I guess I'll still kind of be alive. Definitely, Zara. Anyways, I'm out of here. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm totally over this. So, yeah, thanks, Corinne. I guess you're not a totally terrible medium after all. It's... it's been real. It's been real. Peace out, old lady. Bye, Zara. That was a final straw. I have a seizure. Too many flashing lights. I never got to give the baseball and the baseball bat to my tiny ghost daughter, and that makes me upset. Well, how'd I do? Miss Cross. Hermina? You were looking more tired than usual. Did you do it? Did you attempt to cast the spell? No, I realized it was for the best to leave things as they were. I'm glad to hear it. Do you believe in magic, Miss Cross? The magic of a young girl's heart? Nope, but I didn't believe in ghosts either. Hmm. You should go visit Julia in the hospital before you leave. Oh, okay. Good idea. Dot, dot, dot. Indeed, madam. Wait a minute. I want to just, just want to 
get the mail. It's part of my job. The letter from Gail. Corinne, can I ask you one last favor? When I was in hospital, I wanted to write a letter for my mum. Just some last things I had to tell her. I never got around to writing it, though. I guess I was afraid of what it meant if I actually wrote it down. My mind's been clearer since I died. I was hoping you could, could deliver this for me. You can tell her you found it in the box of things from the hospital. Thank you, Corinne, for everything. Yours, Gail. See? There's a reason to go check things out. Just making sure. Can I go to the other places, too? Let's go to the florist and see how she's doing before I go to the hospital. See if she is following her dreams. Hey there, Corinne! Hi, Chloe. It's my last day looking after Mrs. Styron's house. I'll be heading home today. Wow, so soon? I can't believe it's only been a week. Feels like it's been longer somehow. You're telling me. I'm glad you stopped by before you left. Last night I was thinking about our talks. You know, about how you want to be a writer and never really aiming to be a... F and I never really aimed to be a florist at all. It really got me thinking, you know, about following my dreams and stuff. Well, I don't know. I don't think I can just up and quit the florist business. I mean, I need it for... I need the money and it's been in the family for so long and all. But I decided I can still pursue what I want outside of the flower shop. See, that's that's the realistic life choice. I'm going to open up one of them internet stores and sell my knitting there. Chloe, that's a great idea. Right? Anyone can open up one of them online stores nowadays. I figure I can knit during my downtime here and, well, who knows? Maybe people will like them. I'm sure they will. I'll be your first customer. Oh, golly, Korean, you're the best. Here, I actually made this for you. Hand-knitted scarf. Oh, look at me. I'm wearing a scarf. It's adorable. This is totally awesome. Thank you. I love it. Glad you like it. It looks great on you. Very fashionable, if I do say so myself. Anything else you want to chat about? If you're going to the hospital, tell Julia I said hi. All right. Gotta go visit my other friend and the green grocers. Hey, buddy. Hi, Dimitri. Hello, Miss Karin. How are you today? Well, it's my last day looking after the house. So soon? I feel like I am just meeting you yesterday. Yeah, the week really flew by. Corinne, don't forget secret of success that I am telling you. I want, Dimitri. Kind, uh, kindness you put out in words is always returning to you. No matter what business you want to be doing. My store is not very big, and maybe I am not a millionaire. But I think I am big success businessman all the same. Definitely. Good luck with all your business endeavors, Miss Corinne. Alright, let's go. So I didn't resurrect your son from the dead. I hope that's okay. Oh, Corinne, good. I was hoping you would visit. Hello, Miss Styron. How are you feeling? Much better. The doctor says my week here has done me good. You know, and also the medication and, and maintenance and such. I should be able to return home soon. That's great. There's actually something I wanted to talk to you about. I'm selling the house. What? Really? I can't live there anymore, dear. But where will you go? I'm moving to the coast. I have family there with a chance for a new life. But... The B and B, you can't sell it. I know it sounds crazy, but I, it. What are you trying to say, dear? Seriously, you freaking me out. I. You don't have to worry. I've made arrangements, and the B and B will be in good hands. Huh? I'm selling it to Hermina. She's made a very generous offer, and she's promised to keep it all intact. 
You're kidding. I have to thank you for coming to visit me so often. It meant a lot to a sad, lonely woman. I was happy to, Mrs. Styron. Corinne? No mother should ever be... Or should ever have to bury their child. And maybe I'll never be able to think of Gale without sadness. But he would have wanted me to find a way to be happy again. I think so. Life can be hard and cruel, but... It's good to know there's some kindness out there. Yeah, a little. Definitely. I should let you rest now, Mrs. Styron. Oh, but first, I have something to give you. A letter from Gale. It was in a box of his stuff from the hospital. Think you're ready to read it? I think I am. Thank you, Corinne. Me and my stylish new scarf are out of here. Oh, yeah. Alright, so. Okay. I was like, what do I do? Hermina! Hermina! Hello, Corinne. Did you really buy this place? I did. That's amazing. Corinne, will you stay here for a while? The spirits, they reach out to you. They need you. You have a special power. It's a gift. Stay here and help them on their voyage. I will. I will, Hermina. Yay, everyone's happy. Excellent. I couldn't be more pleased with your decision. I might smile, but it would break my face. And I'll do what I can to assist you. There will be many spirits who shall pass through this place. And I'll have breakfast ready for all of them. Very good, Miss Cross. Shall we go inside and celebrate with some tea? Yeah, let's. Tea time. It's tea time. Tea time. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm guessing that was pretty much the good ending. <laughs> let's all do an awkward dance together. So like I said, I might play the uh, other ending to see if I can bring him back to life. But anyway, a uh, quick review, because I usually do a little review after I play a game. It was very enjoyable. I knew it was going to be short. Um, a little bit corny sometimes. Like, I just completely, I just completely surrendered myself to it and allowed myself to get really absorbed in it. But if you don't do that, if you don't, like, sit down to do that, I could see that this game might be kind of boring to some people. Uh, it's well written. The illustrations are cute, a little bit simple, you know, um, the ending, the end cards, you know, where, the, where you see the goodbyes, I wish that they had been a little bit more, there had been a little bit more to them, but ultimately it was pretty good. But yeah, it was, it was quite an enjoyable little game, I liked it, the mechanics were pretty good, other than the few hiccups I had with it, it was fun. And thank you all for joining me for that fun, and I have unlocked New Game Plus Mode. Harder version of the game with extra content and bonus scenes. Um, not right now. Well, maybe I should? Yeah. I don't know, hopefully I'll just be able to do that. Can I just do that? Or do I have to play that day over again? Alright, well I'm gonna stop right here for now, and I'll catch you all again when I hopefully replay that little segment. See what happens.